it's a real time application which we are going to make today with the help of which a teacher can take test of two or more students so you know if suppose a teacher wants to log in into this app what she has to do she has to type teacher here in the username field and this teacher here in the password field too fine and after this she has to hit the she needs to hit this login button and automatically she is going to get redirected on this teacher's portal fine now here she can write down the question which you want the student should attempt uh, so let's write down a question here what is ai okay so this is suppose the question which this teacher would like the students to attempt now for sending this question to the students she has to click this send button okay now these two browsers we are going to use uh, for two different students so for if a student want to log in into this app he has to type student here in the username field and the same thing he has to type in this password field also now when he will hit this login button automatically he is going to get redirected on this screen similarly if you will type these two things here so he is going to get redirected on this screen now this is for the first student and this is for the second student now if the student wants to receive the question the teacher has given to him what he has to do he has to click on this uh, text over here and he is going to receive the question like this similarly the second one also can do the same thing now if he wants to write down the answer of this question so first of all he needs to mention his name over here i am going to make use of my name and let's answer this question artificial intelligence fine so let's submit uh, let's hit the submit button and see what's going to happen so gaurav is done with submitting his response now it's turn of arnav to submit his response uh AI stands for artificial intelligence uh, machine learning and deep learning are two parts of AI okay so this is what arnav has written for this question let's submit the result okay now how the teacher is going to receive the response which these two students have submitted so for doing that what she has to do she has to click here on this get the answer uh, button and she is going to receive the answers uh, like this uh, here in this uh, what we say text area okay so this is a text area i have made use of here now if she wants to give arnav some score on the basis of what he has written for this question he can make use of she can make use of this uh, score tab over here score input box i am giving on behalf of this teacher i am giving 97 marks to arnav now she can hit the submit button submit arnav score let's click this button and see what is going to happen okay now uh, these are next and previous button with which i can fetch the names and answers which these students have given for this question over here uh, so gaurav has written artificial intelligence now if suppose a teacher wants to give him some score on the basis of this Uh, answer which he has written over here so she can make use of this scoreboard uh, sorry this text input box let's submit the result 
Now how these students are going to get their result on their panels. So for that what they have to do they have to click on this get a result button with, with, with which they will be able to see. Okay so they are going to get redirected on this screen where they will get to see the scorecard fine and likewise Arnav can also check out the score on his panel see fine now if suppose there is one more person let's refresh this app and now I am going to try this app on three different browsers sorry on four different browsers one I am going to keep for uh, the teacher and three I am going to keep for three different students fine uh, so for opening a new browser what I have to do I need to just click just press ctrl and end together copy this link and paste it here so now the question which the, this teacher is going to give uh, three different students are going to attempt that question what is the capital of Gujarat okay now suppose this is the question let's hit the send button now let's see whether they have received this question or not So this is the portal of first student. So now let's see whether uh, the student has received this question or not. Yes, he has successfully received the question. Now let's type the name of the student here and Gandhi Nagar is the capital of Gujarat. Okay let's submit his response similarly we are going to fetch the question on this panel also for the second student okay let's uh, enter his name Arnav okay and here I am going to write down the answer Gandhi Nagar okay so this is let's say Laranya and now let's write down the answer Gandhi Nagar let's submit the response now let's see how this teacher is going to uh, fetch the answers of these students so for that she has to hit this get the answer button so Laranya has answered this for this question over here let's give some marks to Laranya 60 submit okay now let's see so Gaurav has written this for this question over here now let's give some marks to Gaurav also 80 marks and Arnav has given this answer for this question so I'm going to give him the same marks what I have given to Laranya now let's see how these students are going to get their result so for that they need to hit this get the get result button so all of them will be able to see the result in this way now okay so that's coding part of this application so this is the first screen user is going to come across now when he will hit this uh, sign in button this login button this is the code which is going to get executed 
if the user has you know mentioned teacher in these two fields so what is going to happen he is going to get redirected on this teacher screen that is this one okay else if the user has entered student in these two fields over here where is that sign in okay if the uh, user has entered student in these two field then what is going to happen when he will click on this login button is going to get redirected on this student screen fine so this is the code which is going to get executed now let's come on what is going to happen when the teacher will hit this send button over here so it's a gif image which you are seeing over here fine and it's a text area i have made use of which is working as a board right now so when the year, when the teacher will hit this send button automatically a table with name question is going to get created where uh, let me just show you the table this is the table now here you can see the questions which were given by the teacher to the to the to his students okay so a table with name question is going to get created where this question is going to get saved which the teacher will give to the students fine and uh, now after this what will happen if the student want to receive the question given by the teacher so what he has to do he has to click this label box over here okay this one click me to get the question so when he will click here on this label box automatically this is the code which is going to get executed so it's a read record block which i have uh, you know defined inside this on event block now whatever the question is it is going to get pulled up from this question table the table with name question and uh, you know with the help of set text property what is going to happen he will be able to see the question here in place of this text which he, which is right now visible to us fine so this is the code which is going to get executed now let's see what is going to happen when the user will click this submit button over here so when the student will click the submit button this is the code which is going to get executed now a table with name answers is going to get created on the data browser connected to this app in, in which the name of the student the answer he has given and the question to which he has responded is going to get saved fine let me show it to you completely so this is the whole code that i have made use of okay and after this after this what will happen everything uh, including this uh, label box every uh, the label the text of this label box will change to this click me to get the question the text which is getting reflected inside this get question box sorry student name box is going to get changed to enter your name and the text inside this uh, box is going to get changed to write your answer here fine similarly when the teacher see if suppose a teacher want to receive the responses of her student what she has to do she has to click uh, this button over here that is get the answer and automatically she will be able to fetch the records from this answers table so this is the code which is going to get executed when the teacher will hit this get the answer button okay now let's come on the code of button 3 so this is button 3 when the teacher will hit this button 3 a table with name result is going to get created in which the name of the student the score which the teacher has given to the student is going to get saved fine and for these two buttons this is a code which i have defined over here this is the code for the next button now the teacher when will when she will hit this next button she will be able to see the answer and the name of the other student 
so with this uh, this is a code which is going to get executed when the teacher will hit this next name button we have already uh, you know studied about these two things next and previous button many times in the previous lecture so i'm not going to discuss this thing in this lecture uh, this is a code that i have made use of for uh, this previous button over here so with these two buttons the teacher can fetch the records of other students also fine and last but not the least is the code for this button that is button 8 which is this get get result button now when this student will hit this get result button in order to check out his result so this is the code which is going to get executed now here i have made use of this draw chart from records option also which is going to set the where is that screen so this is the chart component that i've defined on this screen one so when the user will click on that get result button he is going to get redirected on this screen one where he will be able to see a chart like structure on the basis of which he will be able to determine his position in the class okay his score and everything so this is how i have coded this app hope you enjoyed this lecture a lot please do like and subscribe to my channel and also do share the link of this video with your colleagues so that they can also enjoy these free online coding classes on my channel i am starting my new batches from 15th of this month if you want to avail uh, the coding classes facility you are most welcome to do that your registrations are open so you can get yourself registered thank you very much and god bless you all with a great future have a great day